Hey, what's up, guys? Good evening. Monday evening. Monday, Monday, Monday. All right. Today, we got a good one here for you. Uh, we're doing a good old screen cast uh, So I've had a few emails. Uh, yeah, we're actually uh, kicking through some of these emails. And the one of the biggest questions is, uh, what can we find in Shield Sense? All right. And um, I, I know that compared to previous date, uh, Lincoln Sense, uh, like pre-2009, okay, the opportunity is there to find some really nice double dies, you know, various types of other errors. Uh, it seemed like it's just easier, but I'm going to tell you, based on what we see here on eBay, we're going to go down through all of the sold items only, okay, not the ones that people are trying to get money from and it hasn't been sold yet. So if you guys wanted a general idea of what shield nickels are worth money, okay, and worth looking at, then you're going to want to take a look at this video. Uh, it's going to be, for the most part, an eye-opening opening experience for a lot of people, especially you guys that come across a lot of uh, Philadelphia minted coins. You will see in this video uh, exactly what you can find out there with uh, with a little bit of searching. Now, the Shield Nickel series, just to recap, uh, begins in 2010, okay? So after the end of that uh, little Abraham Lincoln um, commemorative date, the 2009, the, the U.S. Mint uh, utilized a new reverse back. And, uh, gone is the memorial back. Um, and you have the shield, which looks cool. You know, it's uh, it's kind of like retro. It has that retro vibe to it. Um, not my first kind of like choice as far as the design, but from 2010 all the way up till now, 2019, they've utilized this design. So people generally go to the banks and get rolls, and unfortunately, they come <laughs> they come away with a full twenty five dollar box of Lincoln Shield cents. So the question is, what the heck do we do with them? Well, silly, after you take a look at th uh, through these uh, completed auctions here on uh, eBay, uh, you'll know exactly what to do. So we're in eBay, and um, you go into Coins and Money, Coins and Paper Money, which is right under the uh, Collectibles tab at the top of the page, and simply you're going to type in Shield Error. Okay, Shield Sent Error, Shield Error. So of course... As we go down through the list here, you're also going to see um, stuff like this, stuff that doesn't quite apply to what we're looking at. Um, here's one right here, 2019 West Point NGC Proof 69 Ultra Cameo Lincoln Shield Scent West Point Mint Error. Okay, so this is interesting. Uh, this coin was released earlier in the year, I think March, uh, as part of an, a, as a giveaway, kind of like, not a giveaway, but as an additional bonus coin for people that bought the clad sets. All right, so you got the regular um, Lincoln scent. So we're going to go ahead and click right in here. Now, this coin right here uh, may not quite apply to what's in circulating coinage because this is something that you got as a result of purchasing a, um, a clad set, clad uh, proof set through the U.S. Mint, but this one exhibits an over struck through. So we're going to see if we could find, um, if you could look there right under Liberty, you could see a little squiggly. Uh, that is, it looks like, like a struck through wire. Well, that's pretty neat. Huh. It's kind of cool. Yeah, see, it's uh, notated right on the NGC slab label. There's a reverse for you. But check this out. This one sold April 8th, $565. <laughs> uh, because uh, the coin, when it first came out, people were flipping these for like 10, 15 bucks uh, all by themselves. And then, um, you know, people were sending them off to, to grade, you know, in the hopes of getting that proof 70. But that's an interesting um, sale right there. Nearly 600 bucks. Or maybe nearly five hundred and seventy dollars. Um, here's another one for four hundred dollars that sold on April 9th. Uh, offer struck through, probably the same thing. Probably struck through a wire or something of that effect. Another one right here, three seventy. 
three and a quarter. Uh, obverse struck through, yep. So is this one, 350, 320. Okay, so we come across a, a, a listing here that's more along the realm of what you guys will be looking for. So this one right here is a PCGS graded coin. It's a 2011 D, so even the Denver minted coins are getting some love. Shield scent, very strong obverse clash die, mint state 66 red, and it sold for $306.47. Um, there you go, Sullivan Numismatics. Yeah, he's one of the big dogs in the error field. So let's go ahead and take a, um, a look at this coin right here, and uh, it's, it's pretty amazing. You have the entire reverse of the shield clashed onto the obverse die here. And uh, it's extreme. It's very strong. It's even clashed right on um, Lincoln's uh, neck area. Wow, this is another good picture here. So, wow, well, have you guys come across something like this? Then you know it's worth a lot of money. Three hundred bucks for this one right here. So there you go. Two thousand eleven D PCGS Mint State sixty six red. This is something that it got extra bonus points because it's in the slab. It says strong obverse die clash. Uh, on the reverse, the reverse looks kind of gnarly. Like it's got a bunch of strike through on there. Uh, looks like the mint employees attempted to fix the reverse die. They didn't do a very good job at it. Looks like, looks like dog meat. Uh, but anyways, this is a coin that you you can sell uh, without grading. Okay, you won't get this three hundred and six dollars. Okay, that that again bonus points for um, a coin that was authenticated by a third party grader. But if you went and sold this as is um, raw, then you could probably get about a hundred hundred fifty bucks for it. It is extremely strong, and it's a Denver mint Denver minted coin. This is kind of a big deal here. Um, yeah, I'm shocked because I didn't go through all the listings before I uh, started the program. I wanted to kind of like, <laughs> you know, kind of be surprised yeah, as well as some of you. So we have more of these struck through coins uh, that sold on May 6th for $290. Uh, probably a small little thread or a, a wire. Uh, here you go. This one sold for 250 bucks. It's a 2010D, so it's another, another Denver minted coin. NGC Mint State 65 Red. Rare struck through shield set mint error. Extremely rare date. Well, the date in itself isn't rare. To find an error on any Denver minted coin is the rarity. Uh, but take a look at that. Even before I click into the picture, a lot of the reverse devices are obliterated on this coin as a result of a um, thick coating of grease that was on the die before this one was struck. Um, so anyways, there you go. Check out a little close up there. Um, yeah, United States of America, almost completely gone. There's a few letters left in America. Top of the shield it has been affected. Uh, yeah, but this one's crazy. What does the front look? The front's strong. I mean, there's nothing going on with the obverse of the coin. No grease here, so only the reverse of the coin was affected. Pretty good. 250 bucks. That That's a huge chunk of money for a strike-through grease. Some of you ask me, hey, is a strike-through grease worth anything? Case in point, this one sold for 250 bucks, guys. Oh, uh, yeah, quite a few of these um, proof. Here's a reverse proof with a strike through. Uh, probably another wire strike through. Uh, we got a few shield nickels here. Uh, here's one. Here's a good one. Uh, this is one that people generally overlook. A 2010 Lincoln Shield scent. It's missing its copper layer exterior. It's a mint error. Yeah, it is. And it sold for $113. 2010 P. So it's a Philadelphia minted coin, uh, first of all. And taking a close look of the coin here, there's nothing that would indicate that this one was stripped. Like the the zinc, the zinc planchet on this without the copper 
would generally generally be all um, be uh, porous, that like it's been subjected to some chemical cleaner, uh, because zinc will deteriorate at a rapid rate. The stuff does not last very long. Here's a reverse shot. It's pretty nice, pretty clean. Again, this is something that comes up when you least expect it in pocket change and coin roll hunting, especially if you get those $25 packs of, um, you know, nothing but solid skilled sense. You know, you have the opportunity to find something like this. People just don't realize that these do exist out there. $113. Tell me what you guys think. Uh, that's crazy. Um, I, I've heard a few things like a fool and his money are soon parted. Well, there is a market for error coins, guys. So maybe that's not the case. You, know, you, you can't dictate what people collect. Even if they overpay or underpay, it doesn't matter. Um, that's, that's what makes coin collecting fun. And that's what gives a market to coins in various capacities. All right. Someone made fun of me. They're like, oh, yeah, the machine double coins isn't a real thing. I'm like, no kidding. I Even I wouldn't pay a premium for machine double coins. However, that's the market, okay? There is this kind of like hidden market with those type of coins. So here's a full roll of 2017P. Uh, this is double die obverse number two, uh, probably through, uh, let's see, double die.com possibly. Lincoln Shield scent, double die obverse. So let's go ahead and take a look. Oh yeah, yeah, I've seen this one before. But ch check out the um, the doubling on the date right there, and even to a lesser extent on the mint mark. Um, so you see the two zero one and seven it has that secondary um, punch, and it should be some on Liberty as well. Um, not as strong, but you could see the uh, just the stretching of the letters in Liberty. Uh, from L all the way to Y. The Y is kind of funny. But yep, that's no doubter. So 50 coins for 100 bucks. $98 right there. I just figured 100 bucks, right? Um, not bad. Not bad. $2 a coin. Okay, so this one, this is a, probably a pretty common double die, but nonetheless, it, it's pretty nice. This, this one's got some legs to it. Um, Again, if you if you receive the full box of 2017P, there you go. You can sell a full roll of that double die number two for a hundred dollars. Uh, shield sent struck on dime planchet error. I don't think that's a real error there, guys. That one looks uh, funny. It wouldn't be cupped in that fashion. And we have full full you know BU boxes still selling around sixty bucks. And have fourteen dollars shipping. Uh, in case you guys were wondering if the, there's still a market for those sealed, and there is. Uh, this one's interesting. This one sold on May seventeenth, two thousand nineteen. Lincoln sent. I did a video on this one a while back when it was first discovered. Uh, but the mint um, did a huge boo boo on these two thousand nineteens with the the gnarly die break that goes all the way across the date and into Lincoln's jacket. Uh, but let's go ahead and take another look at this coin again. Anyways, here's a close close-up. Um, there might be another image uh, in the completed auctions, but you can see the big old die chip and then the cud and the crack that goes from all the way from the rim into Lincoln's jacket. So the, the pictures are not fantastic, but they do just enough to illustrate the... Um, the seriousness of this die break. It's crazy. Uh, keep in mind that the seller has a zero feedback. So, you know, <laughs> take it for what it is, I guess. So there is that one. More shield nickels. That doesn't sound good. No, it doesn't. I don't know why you did that. Jeez. Uh, here's a 2018 Lincoln Shield Scent with a doubled die obverse that sold for fifty dollars and then fifty and then five dollars shipped. A lot of fives in there. Um, well, let's see if we could see. Oh yeah, yeah. Take a look at this one. Uh, I, this is either double die obverse number one or number two. I mean, this is legit. Uh, this is the real deal. Yeah, oh yeah. Look at that. Look at Liberty. It's all stretched out. 
to the uh, northeast um, spread like this but uh, 50 bucks for that one that's crazy so uh, doubled dies are available out there and conceivably every day from 2010 to 2019 so do your research check out doubledie.com uh, here's a lot of eight Lincoln Shield error sense strike through clashes so this one sold for 46 bucks straight out of pocket change guys uh, comes out to about six bucks a coin. That's pretty good. Um, although all these coins right here are vice jobs. This is a fake lot. This is, pardon my French, bull crap. I was going to say the other word, but I elected not to. Uh, yeah, keep an eye out for guys like these who rip people off. Okay, you can tell these are vice jobs when they squeeze multiple pennies together because it makes an impression into the coin. It's not raised. It's in into the coin. Um, this, this one right here, that one right there, this one um, that I have my pointer on, that one you can tell the rim damage on there from two coins pressing up against each other. Yeah, this is garbage. And it... it Hurts my stomach when I see that stuff. Uh, oh, here you go. Perfect. 47 bucks. Sold April 2nd. This is that die break through the date. Uh, this one looks a lot cleaner too, guys. That's what it looks like. Check that out. Man, that is awesome. That's way too close. <laughs> That's an even better picture. But check that out. That's on a brand new 2019. And it's selling for 40 to 50 bucks. Pretty religiously. So keep an eye out on this gnarly die break one. And it seems to be a re relatively consistent error because there's been a, a, quite a few fines with that. Um, this one right here is die deterioration doubling. I could tell right away. Uh, 2014P, so we don't need to click in that. Um, this one is another 2018 double die obverse, I believe, number one. It's the same as the other one that we saw a few listings ago. This one sold for $37.47. Uh, oh, geez. Here's another one of those 2019 die break through date coins. $36. Bucks, $4 shipping. I'm excited, man. Oh, oh yeah. You guys remember this one? This 2018 with a big old huge strike through on the back. This is the one that I said sold for way too little of money. Yeah, so something ended up landing right on the coin before it was struck. Look at that thing. Wow. 40 bucks for that. That's it? Seriously, this should have sold for maybe double that. Wow. I wish I would have been around when that one came up for sale. I would have bought it. <laughs> Uh, here's another one of those die break 2019s. Right, keep an eye out for that. Uh, oh, look at this thing. Curved clip 2016 Philly. Uh, Lincoln shent, uh, sent. I was shent. I shan't do it, Captain. $34.30. Oh, that's a pretty sizable clip. And you can tell it's legit. That's a legit clip because you have the, um, the corresponding uh, Blakesley effect on the opposite side. Or the opposite end of the clip over here where it says God. You can see the weakness right there. Uh, that, that's a diagnostic that you have to look for on clips. Clips um, can be manufactured so that way they are um, they appear like a clip. Uh, so here's a lot of 2016p um, struck with 10% off-center errors shield back. I don't know. I, I yeah. Look at look at that. They they all look off center by a shade. So let's see what the reverse looks like. Wow. I wonder if these all came from like the same batch or the same roll. That's a huge mistake right there. Sold for thirty bucks. Why do I think that's cheap? For twenty of them, that's like a dollar a piece. Or, I don't know. Maybe maybe that's the correct market for them because the off center is like not even five percent. It's so minor. Uh, here's another one of those 2018 doubled die 
I believe number one, I could tell just by looking at it. Um, <laughs> 2018D, Lincoln Shield sent double die offers with a unibrow. I don't know, man. I think this one looks like uh, die deterioration doubling. And it is. Yeah, it is. Anyways, it sold for $28. 22 bidders on that. So people will buy just about anything. Just about. Just <laughs> not everything. Uh, let's see. 2015 Lincoln Shield set with a Clash. I can tell. Yeah, that one looks pretty nice. This one sold for 30 bucks. And yeah, that looks pretty good. Check that out. You can see um, a lot of the shield details on the obverse here. Uh, let's see here. Crazy. Crazy. Yeah, look at that. Pretty good. Pretty good. I, I usually go on eBay about once a week and I take a look at what sells. If you found like three, four coins in the box of pennies that you could sell and made 20, 30 bucks, I tell you what, you'll be flying high. Not many people think about it though. You know, it's like, oh yeah, they, there's a distinction between what's a legitimate error and what's not. Uh, oh, I've heard about this. 2019 floating head, which is caused by a uh, overpolishing of the die. So it gives the appearance, whoops, gives the coin or Lincoln in appearance that his head is decapitated. Um, so if you look right here where his neck is and his Adam's apple, it's completely, completely uh, polished away. So it looks like it looks like a floating head. It's it's crazy. It's crazy looking. Um, but yeah, this is another coin that you definitely need to keep an eye on. This one sold for twenty six dollars a few days ago, June nineteenth. And they say you can't find anything in Lincoln Shield sets. That seems to be the narrative because I'm going to keep repeating it. Here's another floating head sold for 25 bucks. 2011 Lincoln Shield set. This is double die offers number four. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look. This one sold for 28. Oh yeah, yep, that is the one. You could tell uh, the stretching, all right, that on uh, the single squeeze uh, coin presses, okay, they the uh, doubled dies don't have like like crazy kind of spreads. They they stretch, you know. Yeah, yeah. It has uh, the little die chip that you see on the bottom of the E is one of the markers for this particular double die, so that's why that was in there. Very cool. Not bad. 25 bucks. I'm willing to bet you guys find something like that. You'll take 25 bucks all day long. All right, let's do a few more here. There's another 2018 DDO, number one or two. I don't know which one. That is, uh, this one is post-mint damage. But there were 17 bids, 20 bucks. It's a 2018D. So in case you guys are wondering. Uh, let's see, 2018D, Shield Penny Major Rim Error Planchet. So now I'm intrigued. What in the world is this thing? Oh, okay, I got it. You, you see that little ridge on the edge of the rim? Okay, that's as a result of uh, uh, die deterioration and doubling. Oh. Or not the doubling, but a deteriorated die. Uh, that's affectionately referred to as ridge ring. So because these are copper coated zinc and then the uh, adhesion of the copper um, exterior of the coin doesn't adhere that great to the zinc core. So that's why you kind of have, it's almost like a, a bed sheet, you know. If you went like this with your hands across the bed sheet, it'll make the ridges as you push out. That's exactly what this does on these coins. So you have that you have that interesting ridge that goes all the way around the edge of the coin. Apparently, there's a market because this one sold for twenty dollars and seventy eight cents shipped. I added the shipping in there in case you're wondering. So that's strange because I come across a ton of those. But trying to remain kind of like a professional coin educator, I can't very well sell stuff like that. I can't. 
Let's put it that way. Uh, so let's go ahead and end it off on this coin. I've talked about this 2015 Lincoln Shield set. This one sold back in April, which exhibits a crazy amount of reverse strike through. Okay, half the shield, all of, most of the letters in United States of and in part of America, completely missing as a result of a just a strike through, a bunch of grease. All right, but what do you guys think? There is actually more out there than meets the eye. Even minor strike through grease where you have maybe a word missing or a few letters, still worth money. You could sell those for like three to five dollars, you know, pretty easily. But in any event, you know, uh, that's going to wrap it up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, like, share, subscribe. Uh, I would love to hear your comments on these coins. You guys come across shield sense more than anybody else out there because you have the last eight nine years of um <laughs> eight nine years worth of um coins to go through and that's all you guys find is shield sense so th this ought to be kind of like a nice little um it, something that you could watch and bookmark or you know save you know in a playlist and you could turn around like oh okay what did blue words say that some of these coins sell for and there you go. Take great images. Take a look at my video that I did on how to take killer photos with your smartphone. And there you go. You're done. Anyways, uh, I figure I'd give you guys back your evening. I want to thank you guys again for all the support and views. Um, yeah, like, share, subscribe. Again, hit the bell for instant notifications. And I'm doing giveaways all summer long, whether you like it or not. Uh, so you guys take care. Keep discovering. Have a great week. And I'll see you on the next one.